You disgrace! You are everything that's gone wrong in this world. You are self consumed, no talent, mediocre piece of sh. <laughs> you're nothing! You're you know nothing! Who you you think you're doing with your horn lip? Who the hell are you? In 1972, I walked by, I'm doing a bunch of things. Who the fuck are you? Dude, pe people criticized him on Twitter like a couple years ago, and he was like, was tweeting like, well, at least I have a, I have a TV show and you don't have anything. No, he, he, he did that shit constantly. He'd be like, I have the world's biggest podcast. I have, I'm in a TV. Yeah, I'm in movies uh, now. Yeah, I'm being cast in movies. So you don't Who the fuck are you? You're nothing. You don't have to. You're no <laughs> talent. And that guy was five. Well, maybe Ray Lee Johnson is the trumpet guy. You're nothing. I had the biggest YouTube show of all time. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> I created your favorite Martian. Who the hell are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> to break me, I walk Brickleberry up on stage. Who the fuck are you? Are you guys talking about the trumpet player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The classic <laughs> sex oh icon. My God. What is he going to do? It's six throw turns, rocks like, at you? From from you? We have 150 grievances against him. Yeah, for him declaring war for nothing. For nothing. Nothing. You're nothing. You fucking no talent, you fucking demon. <laughs> this one is worth trying the key on. Please work. You fucking. You're nothing. <laughs> you fucking. You no talent. talent. <laughs> I want Bob doing up on stage. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> but, uh, I like banging but I don't, I don't think I like it is. To bend a piece of metal. Fuck you, meatbag. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. You're for twenty. Yeah. You're nothing. <laughs> You're nothing. You never were nothing. You're nothing. You're no talent. You never probably start saying that. <laughs> You're a no talent. No talent bending with you guys. <laughs> You're a no talent bending unit. <laughs> I want Bob Dylan up on stage. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Neo Irate Gamer Bahama. <laughs> <laughs> what a great place. Uh, this, this I want to raise my kids this there. This can never be nuked or destroyed. Ever. Yeah, ever. Yeah, even if the capital you're falls. Nothing. <laughs> but Capital Falls is stays, you're nothing. You know it, right? You're no talent. I walked a VGI on a bun. Screw I attack. Walk, yeah, yeah. Sometimes the poo, the penis goes in the poo. What have you done to this poor little pig? <laughs> nothing. He's my friend. <laughs> he's, he's my friend. Are you friend, going to draw Joseph? the picture or not? We want to commission you. No, I'm not. Get out Why not? Fuck you. We have we have your we have your fucking address. We know people. We'll dox we, you if you don't. We, we know people. We we we, we know people. You're, you're not gonna be talent. threatened. You're no talent. You're, no you're nothing. You're nothing. <laughs> Please. What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I shot him in the leg. Yeah. Yeah. And I sh you saw me mouse over his leg. Yes. No talent. No. You're no talent. <laughs> no talent. You hire Willem Dafoe to cover up that you're no, no talent. talent. <laughs> Idiot piece of shit. And I've earned my right to say it. Okay. I had. Jesus, you can do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're nothing to me. You're just a pile of pixels. You're nothing. You're no talent. You're no pixels. <laughs> I pixelized Bob Dylan on stage. <laughs> I pixel arted him. <laughs> I, I mini tracked. I pixel arted <laughs> Bob Dylan in 1973. Who the hell are you? <laughs> you know, what do you have, Wow? Well, yeah, nothing. 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 Nothing at all. You're no Class talent. Pretty good. You're, You're no, no talent. You're no talent. You play that trumpet like a bitch. You're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's such a fucking alpha. My dick's bigger than yours. Fuck you. It's like I'm, I'm four foot feet. I got the biggest dick. Why out do you of think I'm so dudes. short? It all went to my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he did He's have like, fucking I, balls of a I mammoth. I weigh 150 pounds and all of that's my dick. <laughs> my dick. <laughs> when I get a boner, I die. And he's just like, he's just like, I don't care, man. I'm trying to play a trumpet. <laughs> I'm trying to play my trumpet. He's like, you're horrible. Like my dick. <laughs> <laughs> my dick looks like a punched in walnut. <laughs> no, trumpet guy. Get Poor nothing. trumpet guy. Oh, you lost an arm. <laughs> you shot my arm off. How's he holding that bag? It's in a single word. You know, tell <laughs> You gonna make me drop my bag? He throws that bag. What is in that fucking bag? I still don't know this day. I'd, I'd like to think that that's like his like. It's like uh, clothes his or something. His work uniform or something. There's just thousands of live insects. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's fifteen thousand ladybugs and centipedes inside that bag. <laughs> Lomar, no! Oh shit, Bieber. He was gonna eat it for lunch. I could see that guy eating a bag of bugs. <laughs> You're somebody. You you are talent. Yo, you're amazing! You're amazing! What about Christina? Wait, that's I wanna walk you up on stage! That's not weird Just like Bob Dylan! Who the fuck am I, compared to you? <laughs> this reverse trumpet guy. <laughs>
let's get up. Uh, you know, obviously, he shot to notoriety after the that viral video came out, and a lot of I think a lot of New Yorkers uh, it resonated with a lot of New Yorkers. You know, artist. An artist respects the silence that serves as the foundation of creativity. You obviously don't have the talent. You don't have enough respect for yourself or other people, or what it is to express yourself. In music, or any other form of creativity. And I'm an NYU film school graduate, sucker. Do you want to um, walk us through the day? The, the response was very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, the whole thing took place on what was that year, because we no longer do the real holidays. It was the Monday holiday of the indigenous people of Columbus. Mm -hmm. So it was October 14th that happened to be a magnificent day. Yeah. Okay. So we're down at Wagner Park, south of where I live in Battery Park City. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of discussion about redoing Wang the Park. And this guy is blowing this, just, you don't hear him, <laughs> right? But it was just absolutely awful. Bad. And my attitude about it was that I went up to him and I said, like, can this? Mm -hmm. Now, some people thought that it had something to do with it being in front of the Jewish Museum. Mm -hmm. It did not, but that just happened to it be had with It had nothing to, to do with that. It's a lovely museum, and Uncle Bob Morgenthau was part of that. But uh -huh. no, I, it was just the level of breaking the silence down there on a very special day. On Columbus Moreover, Day. For, for those of us who had lived through the 9-11, mm -hmm. okay, my friend and I were down there a couple of years plus at the time that happened, so we have a real sense, an intellectual and feeling type mm -hmm. sense as to the experience that we lived through, and somebody coming around making that kind of racket is just not going to happen. So you, you, you think that space should be about uh, reflecting on the attacks right. of September 11th? The silence, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, as the years have gone by, you know, I mean, I heard the first one. Mm -hmm. And it was, I've never heard a sound like that ever. Yeah. Okay. It was just unearthly and beyond. Mm -hmm. He saw the second one. He went to go park. We Your friend. The yeah. yeah. And he saw the second one fly over South and Avenue. It was crazy. It's a nightmare. When I went to meet him, at 10.30, the one went down. Mm -hmm. So by the time I got to him, I had the Ringo Starr silver streak in my Beetle haircut. Oh, okay. Okay. So we waited till the parking was up and go back to the house. They were taking everybody to Jersey. We stayed. Mm -hmm. And the trucks by that night were a block long. And Tuesday, Wednesday, I got out, checked everything out, got up into the village, made my way back. Nobody was getting in or out. I did. Mm -hmm. And we left on Thursday. How'd you, how'd you get out? On foot? I just... It. I went yeah. up the Esplanade by the water and then made my way over into the village. Yeah. And dropped off the mail and talked to people. There were no planes. The air was magnificent. The weather yeah. was magnificent. I had closed the windows the night before. I went and got Bob Dylan's album that came out at midnight I on September Dylan. 11th. I love Dylan. I still have the receipt that's dated midnight. At oh, September 9 11. 11. Yeah. So do you think that that was a coincidence or? It just happened. The attacks weren't a response to so the I'm, album. I'm on my bicycle that night of the Monday, the 10th, to go get his album at midnight on right. the 11th. They were having a private party for Madonna at Tower Records, so that was out. So I wound up up at Union Square, got the album with the receipt dated right around midnight into the 11th. The last thing I saw was 1.37 on the clock at the ferry terminal on the way home. And mm -hmm. I closed the windows. I came home and I said, it's raining. And that's mm -hmm. what saved our house. Because when I went out the next uh, Wednesday, after what happened on Tuesday, the next day, Wednesday, the dust was up to your knees. You're right. Right? I mean, it was an amazing experience. So the point being that in terms of the attitude that we take, you shouldn't be making noise. You right. Know? And it was a beautiful afternoon. Oh, so the, Trump, the trumpet guy was yeah. disrespecting. So, so yeah. I had no idea that this big, tall guy was sitting there an iPhone on his lap, uh -huh. and he was taping this. I had absolutely no idea that this yeah. was going on, and so I just, you know, let loose with this, you know, from a real like, intellectual. Do you think? Would, 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 have you gotten to that level before, or is that was that just a moment yeah, in time that was just was, this random? Was completely. Yeah, yeah. You know, just something that came up. I mean, uh -huh. I just felt very strongly about the circumstances, and I let it rip. About the attacks. Yeah. yeah. Well, mm -hmm. not just that, but what he was doing. He just I mean, you're stunk. talking about this many, you're talking about this now, over 12 years later. Right. But the idea of what that resonates throughout our neighborhood forever, uh -huh. that never changes. Yeah. But yeah. there's a moment in the video I got to ask you about. This is a very underrated moment in the video. You check your phone in the middle of the rant. And you will never be anything. 
Never. How dare you? How dare you? You miserable, mediocre nothing. Other people mention that to me, and I just don't know. You don't know. I really don't know. It was probably one of those chicks that were like, I'm okay. see, I'm watching you on YouTube right I now. I don't know. No, maybe. But, but it, apparently maybe. that served as a real <laughs> interesting break in this whole yeah, drama. It's, it's a, people and have really analyzed those 45 right. seconds, yeah, right. like uh, broken down by the second. Right. And the, the one thing that people don't know is that right when he finished doing the taping, the kid almost ran me over with his bike. He did. Yeah. He just missed. And that was something else. He tried to go kamikaze see. you with a bike. Right. That's, yeah. That's the term for which it. Which yes, would exactly. be a reminder of the Second World War, well, which would I also mean, be I mean, disrespectful. My people came over on the Mayflower. On the Mayflower? Yeah. I, I am on that side of my family. But you're Levinson. Yeah. And, and I can do that. On but you foam. can. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, you can levitate? From well, it's called flying. You can fly. Yeah. Not like meditating? Lot, not like, not like a, a bird. But enough that you, your body... You got mind. off the ground. Yes. That's unbelievable. Yeah. About two feet up. Well, when we did the world tour of this, yeah, they did 100 countries, mm -hmm. and they did 1,000 cities. And you did it for people around the world? They did. I wasn't part of that, but, mm -hmm. but, but I'm one of the people who learned. Yeah. Okay? And uh, when we were at the UN, we brought in delegates from 50 nations to the United Nations. Right. And we had one of the grand halls of the United Nations. We took out three or four of the best flyers we had them demonstrate so you, there are more people that could do this oh yeah they no, did it at millions. the UN yeah no we way. had That's a demonstration in the United this Nations is, this is bupkis no no you can't look on the UN you journal can't, you can't fly yes you can <laughs>